was a naval air station. Uh, and, and the uh, ensigns and second lieutenants uh, lived in the barracks on the right side of the road. It was made out of wood. And, uh, <coughs> Yeah, call it Termite Village. <laughs> but uh, now it's beautiful. The concrete decks and concrete block. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but there are three Navy squadrons that nudged in there. The Marines used to nudge in on us. Now we're nudging in on the Marines. <laughs> yep. But uh, when, when we went through the gate, I noticed that JG picked up his cell phone and, uh, when we got to the hangar. The commanding also came out and, uh, it here, and he gave me a present. Uh, he gave me several presents, so I want to give it, give it to Steve because it will mean more to him than me. Hmm. This is a uh, VP4 cap given to me by the commanding officer. Oh. <laughs> And he also said, this will keep your beer cold. <laughs> <laughs> and he also said, this is an insignia of the Skinny Dragons. Oh, Great logo. Great. And he also gave me Jeez. this coin. It says, Skinny Dragons, Patrol Squadron 4. And there's a picture of a VT4. P3. P3. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally unexpected. <laughs> Some of you were P2V drivers. Uh, that's what I did at the end of my career for the last 10 years plus. No, 15 years plus. Uh, I was an instructor in the P2Vs at Hutchinson, Kansas. Any of you guys from Hutchinson, Kansas? Good. Oh, mm -hmm. there. Good. First reunion. Good. I, I was a division officer. I was uh, the navigation officer at Hutchinson. I always carried two students and taught navigation, uh, dead reckoning and celestial. Oh, you went on the booze runs. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh? yeah, uh, yeah, I got caught one time waiting. Uh, we were in Bermuda, and, and, and I bought a, uh, a case of material quartz for a dollar sixty-five cents each. Big <laughs> material quartz of, 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 of uh, what kind of gin is that they make in London? Oh, Gilby. beef eaters, beef, oh, beef eaters, yeah. beef eaters gin. I, I bought this case, and, and, and uh, <coughs> when we landed, I think it, it, we got into Willow Grove, uh -huh. Pennsylvania, uh, and, and sure enough, uh, a, a, a guy came aboard and found a piece of gin, and I had to I had to go down to the, to the courthouse in Philadelphia and explain why I brought that gin in. Oh. And, and, and the guy said, look, we're not looking for people like you. You, you, just, you just have a, a case of gin. Well, we're looking for big things and ships and things. And he, says, uh, he says, I'll take the gin and let you go. I lost my case of gin. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was an instructor there three years at Hutchinson. <coughs> and I always carried two students and, uh, and, and taught navigation. I navigate, uh, after the Korean War, I was sent to uh, North Island as a division officer. Say two pack. Anybody ever? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh -huh. for air sea rescue. And uh, it's, they're, they're just out of ONR in Pensacola. And uh, so we're going to send 18 crews. And, and uh, your record has that you've got 40 hours in a PBY. <laughs> 40 hours. <laughs> I said, yes, sir, I got 40 hours in a PBY. He said, you're a lieutenant commander, would you mind flying a co-pilot navigator for a lieutenant? And I said, no, sir, I'm not pleased. I'd, re I'd rather navigate and fly co-pilot in the PBY than I would be to sit there and watch that compass all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got to Pensacola and we checked out this PBY. And, uh, and, and we flew the low frequency radio range all the way to San Diego, and, uh, and then they sent us up to Alameda to, to be released by the Transpac office. Mm. And when we got briefed by the Transpac office, uh, they said that we couldn't be released unless we had a positive wind, which meant a headwind going from Alameda to Hickam. And, and you just can't do that. <laughs> So we waited there a week for a headwind, and then they sent us back to North Island, and they loaded us aboard a carrier. <laughs> and uh, there were two PBYs on this carrier, and they can learn from North Island to Pearl Harbor. And, and uh, this other crew and, and this, uh, were real friendly. And, uh, so I, I didn't get to chance to navigate from San Diego to Pearl Harbor with my Celestial and Ned Rackham. Uh, but once we got to Pearl Harbor, uh, my, they unloaded us and we went over to Hickam. And the next day we found a flight plan for Wake. I think it was Wake. Yeah, yeah and, we, uh, most of us, a lot of us were there. We were on our way to Chai Formosa. Yeah. So uh, we found a flight plan for Wake. And uh, uh, so every, every hour I, I took a sun line, uh, which gave me my speed over the water. And, and our, our speed over the water was 85, 90. <laughs> <laughs>